So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have CSKA Moscow against Arsenal. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Plays it out to the flank. Aimed long and direct. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Battles to win it back. Tossage. Wilshire. Ramsey tries the route one option. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Comes in hard, but he's taken enough of the ball. Played out to the right. Fernandez. Tosic. Pressure stays on. It is a corner. Fernandez, Berezutsky pumps it upfield. Tosic, deftly done. In he flies! Great effort, he flew in with courage. I thought he did really well to sneak under the noses of the defence like that. Could he have done better with the finish? Well, the diving headers, they're not easy, are they? Mustafi. Hector Berry. Arsenal yet to have a shot on target. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Tosic. Mustafi. Koscielny. Spoon forward. Oh, good interception. And it's Tosic. Now the pass. Mikataria. He's missed, but not by that far. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Mesut Ozil picks it up from the goal kick. Natko. Fernandez. Tosic. Koscielny does well to read it and intercepts. Tosic battling down that right flank. He slid it through. It's a loose ball. This is promising. What a save! Terrific reactions! Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Shoots! Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Perezutsky. 
the first half is done. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Things going for the second half. Nil nil then, and we're back on the way. Lacazette was alert to the possibilities, but in the end, it's fruitless. The shot's on! And he's done it! Well, when one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game, then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright, and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage. It augurs well. With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Tosic crosses into the box. Oh, what a lovely delivery. It deserved better. Well, if only the calibre of the finish was as high as the, the calibre of the supply. I mean, that was a beautifully played cross and really should have seen something better on the end of it. Who's going to make this theirs? Hector Behrin tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Away from immediate danger. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. He's got it, and he's got time. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Tosic looks it towards the front. Mustafi tries to get it forward quickly. Mikatsaria tries to switch the play. Good idea, just poorly executed. Hector Behrin needed to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Lacassette. Great reaction! Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And that's surely a foul free kick. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Mesut Ozil pumps it forwards. Looks to slip it through. Natko. Sergio, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Welbeck passes it through. Can he find a finish now? It's in! Two ahead, late in the day, game over, surely. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. CSKA Moscow, their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Arsenal have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Looking 
Crossfield changing the point of attack. Hector Pellerin. Roman Eremenko. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Turns and goes back. That was mighty close. Koscielny. Hector Bayerin. Granit Xhaka. And it's, it won't be. In comes the corner. Berezutsky. Chance! And there goes the final whistle. Arsenal always look the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Arsenal have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that, but this was very impressive, the way they cut through the heart of that defence. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.